Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. And hey, good news. The federal budget is out, and guess what? Lots of money being thrown around. <laughs> money for everyone. Hey, right? It's all about generational fairness. Isn't that what they say? Well, let's think about that. You know, it seems that a lot of people think that there's a special pot of money in Ottawa that belongs to the government, and then there's this other pot that you pay taxes into. It seems a lot of people don't realize that when you work and you earn money, you know, some of your money goes into the pot in Ottawa, and then Ottawa gives that money back in various proportions to things like national defense, education, higher education, health care transfers to the provinces, infrastructure. So, you know, there's this constant flow of money to Ottawa and money coming back from Ottawa, right? But something happened in the past few years, and that is things like Earth Day, you know, Blue Dot Earth. And that became kind of more important than people's needs. And a funny thing happened on the way to Earth Day. There started to be another pot of money in Ottawa, <laughs> one that people didn't really expect. So, you know, when the government would take its portion for um, from your work, right, then curiously this money would end up in the green pot. And what happened is that a number of organizations started popping up, little green organizations that all needed quite a bit of funding. And so the money that you used to give to Ottawa, hoping that it would come back to you and your community for health care, infrastructure, education, well, a lot of it started being diverted to all these green groups our budget is about ensuring fairness for every generation, especially younger Canadians. And taking action on climate change is one of the most important things we can do to make sure younger Canadians have a fair chance at a middle-class life. So, you know, another thing that happened is that people who had a lot of money found that if they gave a charitable donation to these green groups, well, because they're charities, then they didn't have to pay as much money into the government. So there was a reduction of money in the tax pool for your services. And then another thing happened. A lot of corporations and movements found that if they put money in the green pot, and that money got distributed to these green groups. Or if they funded the green groups, well, suddenly more of the money from Ottawa would go into the green pot and more of their preferred projects would be funded while you and your community was left with much less. So it's a sad, sad story. But now the pot is empty. And even though people keep talking about this being a case of generational fairness, it's not. Because behind the scenes, there's a huge pit of money. There's a huge pit of money owing that our children will have to pay off for decades to come because we're running a huge, huge deficit and the interest on the deficit that this country is running is now equal 
to the health care transfers to the provinces, and it's only going to go up. You know, it's like when you get behind on credit card debt, and maybe you just end up making the minimum payment and no more. That's the situation that Canada's in. So don't be rejoicing about all the money that's being thrown around in the federal budget. And don't be rejoicing about all the green and climate projects that are going ahead. Because they're just stacking up more debt in the background that your kids are going to have to pay for. It's not about climate. It's about green crony capitalism. And we should never have let it get to this extent. You can read all about it in our four green reports called Money Matters, Dark Green Money, Big Green Money, and The Green Titanic. And we have a supplementary report called Manufacturing a Climate Crisis. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.